And what do you do exactly? Keep you guys alive. We are the first line of defense against you starving. We feed and we house and we clothe America. And they pay us quite well, by the way, for that. You can make up to 120 grand a year coming in the door if you're a hustler. But we are America. Do you realize without this truck, y'all die? Dude, nothing you've seen, touched, or felt has not been on a truck. You can't deliver a baby without, without a truck no more. We can't stop it. It doesn't stop. It rolls to a stop. That's what I want the public to know. All right, so you work for Walmart? Yes. And what do you do exactly? Keep you guys alive. That's my primary mission is to keep you alive, the public. Okay? Safety comes first here at Walmart. That's why I'm here. I'm one of the best. Secondary portion of my mission is to get these things to market so people can eat. We are the first line of defense against you starving. During the pandemic, our mission was to get, get food to market for you people to eat. That's you, the United States of America. That's what we do. We feed, we house, and we clothe America. That's a big responsibility, right? We make, we meet the mission. I meet the mission, yeah. I mean, you guys really are essential. Do you do? do you? Yes, we are essential. Yes. We're there. We don't, we don't fail. We don't fail. It's not acceptable here at Walmart. And they pay us quite well, by the way, for that. You see how I feel about it. I've been doing this 42 years. I work for every major, major carrier there is. This company's never lied to me. I'm home on time. My money's good. And they mean what they say. They like they drive us. They trust us. Nice. That's they stand behind us. And they will not accept second-rate service. So you would recommend Walmart to other drivers? To their room. And we don't take this anybody. Uh, are they always hiring? Or just like any, just like any other corporation, they hire when needed. So they're always striving for the best. They want the best of the best. Like you said, they compensate you pretty well for that, and I'm sure they give you good benefits and stuff, yeah, right? Very good, very okay. good. And we're non-union. We don't need a union. We don't want one. But the company is fair and honest. Yeah. Can you say about how much they do pay? Drivers. You can make up to 120 grand a year coming in the door if you're a hustler. Is that with overtime or straight time? It's doing what you have to do to make that 120,000. I do quite well off 82, but I'm old. I've done my thing. My yeah. time's almost up. How many hours do you put in per, per week, would you say? Well, so we have an allotment of 14 hours per day. I okay. figure I use about 12 of them up. Most of my time is sitting in traffic because I'm in Southern California. They don't take anybody, right? Then you need experience. First of all, you must have some experience. See, when I came here, if you didn't have 10 years, you wasn't going to get in this seat. Now they dropped. They dropped it down because there there are more there are more training programs there at Walmart now than it was what 10 years ago. I see. So you're constantly updating, enhance, and enhancing your skills. You're constantly going to classes. They pay for education and re-education. If something goes wrong with the company and they, they spotlight it, everybody goes through training, even me. Okay. And I'm a veteran, but everybody goes. We're trying We're trying to make keep these highways safe. Yes. That's what their mission is. They're trying to keep the highways safe, keep you alive, so while at the same time doing what we do. And we are the transportation arm of retail operation. We're not a trucking company. We are the transportation arm of a retail operation. Notice the difference there? Is there anything else you want to say about the job well, or anything? Well, I wanted to know what I, how I feel about it and what it's all about. I am professional. Yeah. Yeah. I survived 42 years without killing nobody. All right? I've been in this game, oh, 41 over the road, plus my training time when I first learned how to do this out of the Marine Corps. So. Like I said, it's almost time for me to step down. My eyes are starting to fail. I'm 64. You know what I mean? It's, it's called it's called aging. You gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. It's almost time for me to fold them. When I think I can't do this anymore, I'm going to go home. And I believe that's about two to three years from now. But I still want to enjoy it while I can see well, hear well, and move around well. Other than that, I stay in this seat forever because the company's just a great company. What kind of plans do you have when you, when you do retire? I'm gonna go home and play with my Corvette. I got a vintage Corvette. Nice. And I'm gonna take care of my wife. She's aging also. We're gonna take care of each other. That's my plan. I've been all over the world, sir. Okay. That's my Marine.
Marine Corps travel. I've seen the world. There's nothing I want to see. I travel for a living. What do I want to see? That's true. I mean, I want to stay in this seat, yeah. but you got to know when to go home. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I see my time is coming. You know, my eyesight, my glasses are changing every two years now, and I got a little, I got a little arthritis. And it's just you just got to know when to go home. I appreciate your time. You really, you guys really are the backbone of America. You well, we are America. Do you realize are. without this truck, y'all die? Yeah. Understand that you can't go back to uh, buggies and, and, and Wells Fargo uh, coaches and yeah. horses. You can't do it. Yeah. This electric thing, this electric thing y'all got going, you cannot deal without fossil food, fossil fuels, and remain a first world country. This truck is your livelihood. If we stop, everybody dies. You do know that, right? I do. Including myself. This is what keeps you alive. Think about everything you do. Nothing you've seen, touched, or felt has not been on a truck. You can't deliver a baby without, without a truck no more. Huh. Right? This is what keeps you alive. This is what gives you a first world experience in life. You take this truck out of the equation, you die. That's true. Yes, sir. I want him to remain alive. Okay. That's the message I want him to get. This thing will kill me. I got ABS on this thing. I can't lock them up no more. I can't stop it. It rolls to a stop. But you know, they continue to want to get in front of me. That's where I have to be prepared. I, I have to have my distance, you know what I mean, to save them. Because, see, this is a fool's paradise out there on that highway. They get away with it once. They think they can get away with it twice. And then on and on and on. Until that one day when that driver, that person that just got, got a CDL. That person is happy to be behind that wheel and hasn't seen nothing bad yet. I've seen a lot of red sheets on the side of the highway. Little kids and stuff because the truck ran into the back of them because they didn't the cab business. We can't stop it. It doesn't stop. It rolls to a stop. That's what I want the public to know. We can't stop it. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate all the other drivers, man. Thank you for your service as well. It's good to meet you. Good to meet you, too.